So we're going to make a digital collage using scanned in images that you guys cut out of magazines. So here's one, we scanned it in at 300 DPI, which is a really great resolution for printing. So when we open it up in GIMP, we wanna make sure it stays in that resolution. So what I'm gonna do is click and just drag this right into my GIMP window. And when I do that, this little window will pop up. This is import from PDF. So you can play around with a couple things here, but what I really want you to make sure that you look at is resolution. And right now it's just default setting it to 100, but we scanned it in at 300 DPI or pixels per inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that 100 to a 300. Otherwise it's gonna be compressing our file down to less, uh, less resolution, so it won't be as crystal clear. So we're gonna hit import. There we go. Um, so here I have all these images, and I was just gonna see if I can rotate this, but I'm not that worried about it. Flip and rotate. Rotate 180 degrees, beautiful, okay. So here we have these scanned images, and now what we want to do is cut them out so that we can move them around independently. Because right now, I'm on my Move tool, hit M for Move tool, and if I try and move it, of course, everything's going to move. So what I can do is, let's, let's get rid of that white background first. And how I do that is I go up here and find that little magic wand, it's the Fuzzy Select tool, and I'm going to click on the background and you'll find that it's selecting the background. Um, over here, there's threshold. So right here's the history palette, but if you click over, there's the tool options dialog, and that's where you'll find the threshold for this. So if you up the threshold, um, it basically adjusts the sensitivity of this tool. So it'll select more or less of these pixels that are similar to your sample area. Okay, so now once I have that selected, I want to delete it, but I can't just hit delete, unfortunately. My shortcut to delete is function delete. And there it goes. So remember, it's function delete to delete anything in GIMP. Um, and then I see this little uh, white and black line. That's my selection area. So if I want, I can just do select none. So I'm no longer selecting anything. And I want you to pay attention right now to this layers palette right here. So you can see it says layers right there. And this program, Photoshop, Illustrator, most Adobe programs will operate in some sort of layering. And what that means is you can kind of order which thing goes on top of the other thing. So right now everything's all on its own layer. So I'm going to hit M for move. And if I go to move, again, they're all still kind of tied to each other because they're all in the same layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select out this little gecko guy. And I'm going to move him to his own layer. So if you go right next to the magic wand tool, there's the free select tool. Looks like kind of like a little lasso. I'll click on that. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw around my gecko. Now something I discovered before was that um, Right now, it looks like it's selected, but because it doesn't have that black and white kind of flashing line, it's not. So in GIMP, for whatever reason, they make you hit return to like kind of confirm your selection. So I hit return, now it's selected. And at this point, I can cut and paste it onto its own layer. So I'm just gonna use my shortcut and do Command X for cutting it out. And then I'm going to go over to my layers palette, look down at the bottom, and it says create new layer and add it to the image. So I'm going to create a new layer. You can label it, which if you're doing a digital collage, I encourage you to do because you might have six things and it's easier to just kind of look at the name of it rather than clicking around to find your, your uh, image that you're wanting to work with. You can label it with a color. Oh. I accidentally gave it a white background. You can delete that real quick. And the next time I add a layer, I'll show you um, how to get rid of that. So 
Okay. So command V to paste in my gecko and look at that. There he is. I'm going to select my move tool and move him around. Beautiful. Now, I want you to notice, however, that over here on the layers palette, again, this is something that GIMP does. It kind of always makes you confirm before it'll do something. So right now it's kind of a floating selection or a pasted layer. So what you can do is just hit the anchor down here, and that anchors it to the layer beneath it. So there we go. Now we have a layer that we're working with here. Um, all right, so now this one moves independently from the rest of them, which are still all stuck together. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut out the rest of these things real quick using my lasso tool, copying and pasting them onto a separate layer. Hold on. When you make a new layer, it says fill with, you can fill it with white or you can leave it transparency and that's what I keep forgetting to click on. All right, there we go. Anchor it. Click on my background. Trace this little iron giant dude. Beautiful. So I'm going to toggle between right here on the layers menu, there's these little eyeballs. So if you ever have too many layers going on, you just don't want to have the visual overload, you can hit the eyeball to hide it. And so now I have these three that I can play around with. The next thing I want to show you is how you can adjust the size and rotation of these objects. So I'm using the move tool right now to move them around. But let's say that I want to make that iron giant guy a lot bigger. So what I would do is look over here, there's the scale tool, scaling it. So I'll click that and you can, with the scale tool, just click and drag him larger. Or you can adjust it right here too and try and make that bigger. Just make double the number. If that's quicker for you, it might be quicker in uh, this program to just use numbers to do that. There is my iron giant guy. And then maybe I want to adjust my gecko and play around with putting him like popping up out of the iron giant or something. And maybe this can, he can be sort of stepping on it. I don't know. You guys can get creative with this. But something I do want you to notice is that um, if this is kind of hard to see what you're final thing is going to look like. You can just hit new layer, adjust with fill with white or another color if you want. And I'm going to click and drag this to the bottom. And that's what your collage is going to look like on white paper if we print these out. So definitely have fun with this. Play around with it. Uh, I want you to learn how to select out individual items and combine them together by scaling and rotating. Oh, I didn't show you rotate. I think it's pretty quick. You'll get the idea. It's right next to the scale tool, so you can click that. Oh, and I'm I'm on the I'm on the white background. That's what's happening. So, hold on. Let's go to the get-go. Bunch of troubleshooting together. All right. 
rotate tool now you can see how I can rotate Mr. Gecko dude. And then I can move him. Have him coming off at an angle or something. I can rotate or I can change the order of the layers so now he's behind my iron giant peeping out over his shoulder. You can have a lot of fun with this. You can also pull in an image from the internet if you want to tie in like a background or some setting for these guys right now. So have fun and I'm going to give you a rubric for the requirements that I expect from you. So thank you.